All right, hey everyone, it's me, Barky. Um, this is a bit of a different video. I'm just talking about the YouTube algorithm, which has been changing a lot in the last month or so. So I'm going to be talking about that. It doesn't have much to do with RimWorld, although I'll probably overlay some gameplay or something of it. But the new YouTube algorithm is a massive change to YouTube. And I know it sounds weird because there's been so many big changes, and you've probably heard creators speaking about it to death because of how much it affects them. But for a lot of people, especially smaller creators like myself, it is a it's a big deal because it changes fundamentally how you need to create videos and all of that. So you might have seen a few of my recent videos. You might not have even been recommended them, but I did like a My Little Pony video. Um, I did the YouTube is strangling my channel video where I just speak about how the algorithm is kind of fucking me and everything like that. And I wanted to test it out. And I've read or I've heard from a friend that Rimworld is actually one of the blacklisted games, which means that YouTube keep a peculiar eye on it to see if um, any of the rules are being broken with that game or anything like that. I don't know if that's true. YouTube don't actually tell me anything. They like they they could not go out of their way more to ignore me. <laughs> uh, and other creators, I'm sure, have the exact same issue when it comes to these kinds of things. I cannot get any info out of them based on anything. So there was a live stream the other day. Um, where they speak about changes to the algorithm, and I did put a video up on my second channel of me busy watching it. I was just watching it while recording, and in the in that video, they speak about a few things. The num number one thing is that they changed the algorithm sometime in the last few years from views to watch time, and you can actually notice that in the analytics, they they stop promoting views, but they are always promoting watch time. So it's interesting because it's measured in minutes. So for example, you want to make longer videos as long as possible. But at some point it does fall off because not many people, uh, but the average time spent on YouTube is about two to three hours a day at most, like three hours at most. The average time is probably two hours. So you don't want to make an hour video because no one will watch it past like five or 10 minutes. But if you make a good quality 12 minute video, well, that's, that's the fucking world. That's what YouTube wants. You know, they want that so badly. And that's why people like H3H3, they do really well because they have decent length videos, you know, that have high watch rate, that have high watch times and good watch retention. On my channel, the retention is pretty good too. I about have an average of 55 to 60% depending on the day. Over the past six months, it's been 58%, which is decent. I don't know what other creators have, but I get about 200,000 views a month. So for me, that's decent. That's pretty good. Uh, I, don't, I don't actually mind it that much. So yeah, so the algorithm has been uh, pretty hectic. It's been pretty weird. And most importantly, it is demonetizing videos at an alarming rate. It is insane how many people are being affected. And I know that this has been spoken about so much. And I wouldn't speak about it if it wasn't such a big deal. So just believe me on that. You can probably find another YouTuber who's done a better video on this than I have. But I just want to talk about my experience with it and what I believe the algorithm has been doing recently. So as I was saying, they changed it to watch time. That was the big one until very recently, they've kept it at watch time. Now in the past month or so, about a month and a half to two months, they have slowly started changing it from watch time being the biggest factor to uh, viewer satisfaction, that's their words. So how many people will like the video, how many people will comment on the video, what drives discussion and stuff like that, because they found that that increases watch time the most. Now, I don't have I don't have VODs of the live stream, and I, I don't know if it has been put up yet on YouTube's channel, but in the video, the head engineer was speaking about how he, uh, well, not him, as but his team had decided that that's the best way to drive watch time up and they want people to come back every day and that's what they've found does it. And that's been rolled out in the past month and a half to two months. So that's what we're seeing now, which is the reason why you've seen so many channels that have ridiculous high, uh, you know, like connection rates with their, with their subs, like so many likes and stuff like that. They spoke about that in the video about how asking for likes and subscription is a massive thing. Like asking people to comment will make them comment. Asking people to like will make them like and asking people to sub will make them sub. Not everyone, but it'll make more than, it'll, it'll make them less likely to unsub, for example. And he said that that works really well. So those kinds of channels right now are doing really well. So you see... I hate to bring like Logan Paul and Jake Paul up, but you see them doing really well. They ask for likes and stuff. And on a on a 
video that has like 500k views, they might have like 100k likes or something, which is insane. That's five to one. For example, on my channel, it is nowhere even close to that. In fact, a like ratio of 15 to one is more like mine. So it's doing three. T they have three times higher like viewer satisfaction according to YouTube's algorithm. And then of course they have higher watch times as well. Most people probably watch most of the video. That's just how it is. Uh, but they don't have mega long videos, so it really works. And they have like consistent videos every day. Just videos, videos, videos. So it works out for them. So that's a big one. So viewer satisfaction is the driving force behind the new algorithm. Now there is a second change. And this actually doesn't have much to do with recommendations, although it, it does lead into it. And this is the new algorithm that decides whether a video is demonetized or not, or whether whether it's ad friendly. Now that's been brought upon in the past month. You've you've heard me speaking about it. It'll demonetize a whole lot of new things. It used to demonetize obvious things, like if you put ISIS war rally in your title or something fucking crazy like that, then they would demonetize it. If you put, you know, people fucking dying in in the tags or something, uh, they will demonetize it, stuff like that. But nowadays it's going to the next level and it really, really is. So for example, I can put a picture of a gun in the thumbnail and it'll be demonetized. In fact, the reason, so for example, I'm going into my video manager now and I'm looking at the YouTube is strangling my video, which I released about a week ago, uh, August 27th, so about a, a week and a half ago, and it was demonetized. In the video, I didn't speak about YouTube being dicks. I didn't speak badly about them, and they don't demonetize videos like that anyways. The reason why it's demonetized is because it has a gun in the thumbnail. And then I asked for it to be re-monetized because it got demonetized within 10 minutes or something. Like, it was insane. Or It got demonetized within 20 minutes. And um, it says, confirmed by manual review, not suitable for all advertisers. That's what it says there now. Except... It's still running ads on the video. I get limited ads on it, which means that the second rate ads are still being played. I'm just not getting money for it. So this fucking, like, it's theft. But because of YouTube's terms of services, you can't really, you can't really, like, have an issue with it because it's their platform. You know, they can do whatever they want, really. Uh, but it is, it is insane to think about that sort of thing. So the new, that new algorithm has come about. And it is crazy with what it's demonetizing. There are now games that have blacklists in them. And you will see YouTubers start to blur out when they're swearing. Because if the video gets reported too much, it'll get demonetized. They um, don't have any weapons in the thumbnail. They don't have any weapons in the tags or the, the uh, description and stuff like that. Now, for me, it's, it's, sort of, it's sort of a mixed bag when it comes to those kind of things. Because I do not ask people to like or subscribe or comment. In fact, the most I've ever done is tell people like, hey, well, if you liked the video, you know where the like button is. If you disliked it, then go for it, dude. Um, which I put at the end of videos, which, you know, on average, people don't actually get to that. So for, so for me, it's a bit of a compromise on my values because I will never be, I will never say at the start of the video, hey, drop a like before you watch the video, bruh. Can we get this video to like 5,000 likes? Like, I'll never fucking say that, dude. And honestly, I think only losers do. Because asking someone to like something before they've even watched it is just crazy. There are a few creators who I know that I will like the video no matter what. Or, I mean, unless they, like, start spewing, like, ISIS propaganda or something. But I'll generally like most of the videos just because they come from a reputable person. Like CGP Grey, for example. ASAP Science is also pretty good. Um, lessons from the screenplay, also amazing. I might not even be interested in the video, I just know that I will. And I know that I like the video. I might not be interested in what he's talking about, but everything else about it is amazing. Stuff like that. So that I can sort of understand. But even they don't say at the start of the video, hey, can you motherfucking smash that like button, bruh? Smash it, smash it, smash Like, you never hear them talking about that, you know? And I think it's fair to say that they probably do the right thing. I aspire to be sim more similar to them than to Jake Paul and Logan Paul who actively say, like, sub to my channel, like my channel, like this video. Stuff like that, you know, buy my merch and shit like that. And I think that subtlety will be appreciated in the long run. And it's not about that, though. It's more about that I just don't want to come across as someone begging for likes and stuff. But uh, it is interesting because most of my videos do get demonetized now. I'm just kind of used to it. Um, recommendations are down by about 60%. So that's that's huge because... And those are only on videos that are demonetized. So that's massive. Obviously, that's like that's a big deal. But uh, it, it started at around the same time that the demonetization thing started. So I can sort of pinpoint it. 
um, because I have enough views that I can use my analytics and get it's decent enough. It's a decent source. But if you have a thousand views a month or something, it might not be a good source because you know you just don't have enough data to actually f to actually analyze properly. Now, for someone with like two million views or something, um, you know they have even more data to to grasp on. So that's awesome. But besides that, I thought I would just talk about the algorithm, and I'll just summarize it right now. So there are two new things happening to YouTube. They are switching over from major watch time, uh, being like the sole reason that they recommend videos, to viewer satisfaction, which is a mixture of liking, disliking, and commenting. Um, and then the second one is that they are now actively demonetizing any violence in videos, and that's the big one. Any violence beyond the, beyond the normal cause. So for example, in Splatoon, you can shoot someone with a gun and it'll just spray them with paint. That's fine, that won't get demonetized. Uh, CSGO, for example, if you knife someone in the back, it might do that. And the big thing is that there's now machine learning uh, that are actively watching videos. So you get about 70 hours of footage uploaded to YouTube, like every minute or something. It's something like that, right? Uh, so they need bots to watch it. So the bots are now learning what's worth monetizing, what's worth demonetizing and Although this is an amazing piece of technology, trust me, this is like, it is a beautiful piece of technology that they're aiming at this, and it's just sort of like, uh, you know, uh, it's just, it's not fantastic, but uh, it is what it is. My channel will always be around, and I will never be the kind of channel to beg for a like or sub in the beginning of the video, that's just not my way to go, even at the end, I'll never beg for a like or a sub, um, so I hope you guys do appreciate that, really. Um, but I don't need you to appreciate it because it's just it's a value that I want to keep. But um, it is interesting though, and I'm sorry that this is such a rambly video. It's because I just recorded it after after gathering all this information together. I just wanted to record it and put it out so that people all are aware of what's happening, because it is massive. It will affect you guys more than it'll affect me. And I know that sounds ironic to say that because here I am with all my videos demonetized and not getting recommended very well, but. It'll affect everyone who enjoys videos that are getting demonetized will have to change. So I watch Jericho a lot and suddenly he's like, he's making sure that there's not too much violence, but he plays first person shooters. So it's just, what are you actually going to do? You know, or PewDiePie now like blows out of swearing. Like it'll, it'll affect the viewers a lot more than the actual people. Swearing, I'm not sure about. The biggest thing that I can see though is violence and politics. That's it. Violence and politics. If you're going to make a YouTube channel, don't do gaming or politics. Or well, if you're going to do gaming, don't make it violent gaming. No fighting and stuff like that. Because it's going to get demonetized. It won't get recommended. And, like, it's just it's just not it's not fantastic. It's just not great. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing day. And I will see you all tomorrow.